Hello ladies and gentlemen, Marauder X here, back with more Let's Play Skies of Arcadia, and we are going to go through this door, which couldn't possibly be a boss fight, because it's a large, empty, expanse room, after a save point. I don't get it. Why would the Valuans build such a huge room in these mines and not use it for anything? Now, that seems like it's kind of breaking the fourth wall, doesn't it? <laughs> And really, that's, yeah. And up above DeLoco is waiting. And in one of the scenes earlier, we saw that the room is spiked, and it's just going to crush everything in it. So that was DeLoco's trap. Lock us in the crush, like, and it still doesn't make sense why would they would build a crushing room. All the slaves who have tried to run have died in this room. And... Alright, what's this? Oh, hey, it's... It's Alfonso. Hey, it's Alfonso. Didn't we, uh, not even beat you the last time? You ran away like a coward? If you're in there, I won't be able to crush them. Really, if I were DeLoco, I'd just pull the switch. It's like, he got in the way. He got in the way. Granted, I don't it's think so they bad. want... Oh, Antonio too. Okay. So, he has another war beast. After the last one we killed. I, I think, though, uh, Galcian and the Empress would be kind of upset if... Uh... Fina died at this point, because I think they still need her. I think they're still after her for the uh, the other moon crystal locations. I mean, they already knew that this one was here. So I guess they don't need Fina anymore to learn about the crystals. Which, if that's the case, what did they ever need her for to begin with? Alright, so we have a fight against Antonio too, and I'm using yellow weapons. I'm not going to be using yellow weapons. I'm going to switch to silver. Because I can actually get some use out of that. And... Are you... I can't... Yeah, you're, you're silver. I can't tell. He has one little thing on the drill that allows me to figure out. Antonio 2, really just kind of a slightly stronger version of his predecessor. Not really concerned about it. His attacks are all the same. They are just powered up. So, we can beat him pretty much the same way we beat the last one. Now, Thunder of Fury, unfortunately, is a special attack and not magic, so our Delta Shield uh, abuse will not do anything here. So, we do want to be careful about that. Uh... We're going to use an item to not run out of spirit. Because I'm going to need to keep building up spirit. So that I can unleash, you know, some high-end attacks. Really, Thunder of Fury only really did a, a lot of damage to, to Fina. She's... Oh, you... How did he dodge that? Alright, 1,000 HP back. And he attacked Aka again. Okay. Alright, so we're gonna do that. We're gonna do that. Actually, no, we're just going to attack with Vice. We're going to attack with Echo. We are going to cast Ankrum on Drachma. We're going to equip the Excavation Arm. No, not the Excavation Arm. The Mace Hand. That's the one we want. Because I'm pretty sure that one still has higher attack. And then we're going to tackle. 
And hopefully he goes last and so he gets the Ingram. He should. He has the lowest quick out of everyone. Move. Give me strength. And we're gonna try this attack again. Not really that it's, you know... This is a fairly decent battle strategy, especially for bosses like this. For 1,500 points of damage. And he's gonna do Thunder of Fury again. Aiming at Aka, it looks like. But also hitting Drachma. Aka's a little hurt. We will use Fina to give her a Sacra's Crystal. And we're gonna tackle again. And that'll probably be it. And thank you for the counterattack, Antonio. You you mean the world to me with your counterattack. But again, fight's over. And I'm really not in bad shape because I got the heal off. And a critical hit. Okay. And another tackle, and that's it. I'm not entirely sure how much longer that's going to be a viable strategy based off the weapon stats. I don't know. I don't remember. We did it. I also don't remember being able to max out magic this early in the game. Like, the fact that I have maxed out green magic for uh, Fina really weirds me out. And we get 4 magic XP from it, and... 2300 gold? Not bad! And a moonberry! That's great! That means we'll get two moonberries out of all of this, because I get to go back and get the one at the entrance. No! What are you doing? Oh! And it's gonna. Is it gonna fall on him? Oh, it does! You got crushed by your own war beast. In reality, that should have killed you. I just have to skewer all of you. And... Ooh. The ceiling stopped. What's going on? And he's losing it. Someone has tampered with all the machines in the mines. They're all malfunctioning. Five bucks says it was the other cat. And he's losing it again. And this time he just kind of falls over. Deloco is kind of a useless admiral. I guess the only reason why he's there is because... Why do these things always happen to me? Uh, I guess Deloco's there because, you know, he, uh, can build stuff. Alright, so here, let's get the camera rotated, right? Yeah! It's the other captain. Hello. I made a few adjustments to some of the machines. Did it help? Oh, you have no idea. So that's what that was. I managed to open the door to the outside as well. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> He's a good captain. And we were able to help him, he was able to help us. Worked out well for everyone, I think. Alright, so we can leave. This is... That's the only... And okay, so we gotta... Go there, and this will take us back out to the entrance, I guess? Yeah, that's the door we came out of. So give me one second, I'm gonna skip ahead to get that next, or to get the last treasure chest, and then I'll skip to the end where we leave. So, one second. Alright, so I'm back here at the elevator. I'm gonna take the elevator, and it'll take us down. And this should be the last treasure of the dungeon, and then we can basically just take a shortcut out. Yeah. Moonberry! And I'm actually going to use some of these moonberries now. 
Alright, so... Vice... With two Moonberries can learn one. And I'm gonna do that. Skull Shield. That's actually really good. It doesn't give the defensive ability of counter stance, but it, it's it's nice. It's we're gonna get some use out of it. And Aka, which one does she learn next? Uh, that's Epsilon Mirror. I don't really need that one right now. It the big thing is that it does restore ten MP, so you don't ever have to use uh anything on her. Uh Cupel summons a storm to damage all enemies and remove that that's gonna be next. Lunar wins. Drachmas is also kind of useful for his second one, but I want to focus on Vice Aiken and Fina first, so I'm going to take a shortcut and make it back to the entrance of the mine, and I'll see you guys in just a second. Okay, so we're back at the, the exit. We're done. We just come out this way, and leave like we were normally, and we're done with uh, Moonstone Mountain. We could save it, but I'm going to keep going, just a little bit longer. I don't know why, like, we didn't just, or can we open this door now and free everyone? No, apparently not. You would think that we, since we just beat them, they could all, like, we beat DeLoco, the machines are all broken, we could just free all the slaves, but apparently we're only freeing Asapa. Which is a little, little dick, I'm not going to lie. Uh, but we're done. There's nothing else we can do here. So, I mean, time to go back. And we got to go back to, go north, back to uh, the King's Hideout is where we need to go. So that'll be over here. Pretty sure it's over here. Oh, nope. Random metal. Alright, so yeah. We're continuing onward. Gotta find the King's Hideout. Pretty sure it's north near here. Yeah, it's over. Yeah, that's... This looks like it. There's the birds over there. I really wish there was better camera control. Uh, that's not it. I don't... I don't know where I'm going now. Give me a minute. Okay, so it's right over here. I see the Golden Man Rixus. So I was going the right way, kind of. Alright, so we go here to the King's Hideout. And we will learn the Legend of Rixus from Isapa. I'd love to thank you two ladies personally with my penis. Oh wait, no. You were supposed yeah, you gotta tell us about Rixus. Ah, uh, you are just all sorts of special. Where do you get the you know? <laughs> he has much knowledge in ancient scriptures and history, he just happens to be a complete lech. Has been passed down in my family for many generations. The great bird with its wings spread and the kneeling golden man will open the way. That is all. So you got it? Um, that's all? I have, yeah. If we hadn't already found all of the the discoveries, we ha would have no clue what he's talking about. You need to solve the riddle on your own. I give up. Listen to what he just told us. The great bird with its wings spread and the kneeling golden man will open the way. I know what it means. The great bird with its wings spread and the kneeling golden man are probably somewhere on this continent. So, yeah, we've already found them. But because they don't have, you know, different dialogue for if we've already found all of the... the discoveries, so... And before we do that, we're actually going to go back to Horteca as well, because there is something we can get from uh, Sintim. Sintime? Sintim? Words. You know. Alright, so we're going to go back to Horteca. Give me just a second, I'll go ahead and skip to the good part. Alright, so we're back here at the crashed airship. 
And we're gonna go talk to Hans and Sintheim. Sintheim! Mr. Vice, my husband has come back from the balloon mines. I can't thank you enough. Well, you know, all in a day's work. Alright, so there's Hans. Where is he? Here he is! Hello, Mr. Vice. I was able to return to my family. Perhaps you could use this. You received one twin propellers. That is a part for the little jack. That I don't know what it's going to be replacing. Uh, let's see, armor deck. So it lowers, it'll lower our defense, but raises our dodge and our quick by a ridiculous margin. Is there anything that raises dodge and quick? The bore up kit. So we will just be upgrading that and keep our defense. Because we have an armor deck, a steel deck, and... Yeah, that's... Alright. And that's everything here. I'm going to go out and get into a battle and show off some new abilities. So I'll be back in just a moment. Alright, so getting in a battle... I'm going to show off some new abilities and why they are fan bloody tastic. I love them. Vices in particular is fantastic. Alright, and it's a good group of people on it. So with our current level, we've got we start off with eight spirit because of everyone's current spirit. So we've got Skull Shield. Vice summons the spirit of an ancient pirate to defend and counterattack for his crew. Now this is where the game gets really fun. Because your defensive abilities become more offensive abilities. <laughs> and Skull Shield is an instant counter stance. It will block any regular physical attack, reduce the damage to zero, and counter attack. We don't counter attack, but the ghost pirate thing does. So I'm not entirely sure how damage is calculated from that counter attack versus our own. But, so like, Fatigue Breath is a special attack. It doesn't block that. I would like to see... And now that I'm using that, they're all going to use Fatigue Breath. And so we're not going to actually get to see its... Oh, there we go. So the pirate blocks it, and then attacks. So it's actually a very useful ability. Uh, for regular physical attacks. For other attacks, not so much. Special attacks and magic are kind of useless. But they they can stack. So one thing that I like to do... I'll just go ahead and show off Lunar Cleansing. They don't have any status effects, but... Might as well. No. Lunar Cleansing is one of those... Attacks that... Will go off instantly. Oh no, it removes any of my negative status effects. I thought it removed the enemy's status effects. That actually works out nice. Or was... No, that was not the right one, was it? But I don't think we've seen that one yet. So, that's, you know, not bad. And one thing I did check, the, uh, the Mace Hand is still 30 points better than the Deloco Drill, so it's still a viable option for now. Alright, so... Let's... See what we got. Uh, Lunar Blessing is the regen. Lunar Winds! Okay, that's the one we haven't seen. Damage all enemies and... Remove their status effects. And Cupel does it. And that ability is going to be needed for a couple of boss battles. That wasn't so bad. So, yeah, that's that's very beneficial. Vice, Aka, and Fina have some of the best, but all the other characters that we have access to get some really interesting and unique ones. So, uh, but I was saying you could stack special effects, so you can do uh, the 
the shield that Aka has that protects against magic, you can use uh, uh, Vice's skull shield to protect against specials, and there's another one that gives a uh, special effect. So it's it's all well worth it. Uh, and I'm gonna come here and sell all of my discovery info. I've got a ton, and that'll help build up the massive amount of money that I really don't need at this point. And you can see that some of them are worth a lot more than others because if there's no clues for them, like just there's nothing like the the golden man. Uh, yeah, I've heard of Domingo. Uh, and they don't say he's been looking for the palace again, because we've, we've already found it. Alright, so I'm actually going to go ahead and end this episode here. It's probably going to be a little short. They've been kind of short because I've been not being able to pay attention to what needs to be cut out and how much time it actually takes. But I will end this episode here, and next episode we will go towards Rixis. So yeah, uh, till then, later everyone.